Today I want to talk to you about NDAs or non-disclosure agreements. Non-disclosure agreements are a very standard document you'll receive from clients from time to time and signing an NDA means you agree not to disclose details of the project until the project is made public. Companies don't want freelancers to ruin any kind of launch they may have planned by posting something on social media too early, which is fair enough. Think of signing an NDA as being brought into a company's circle of trust. And if you want to be in my circle of trust, why not subscribe? Often a client can't tell you anything about a project until you do sign an NDA. So if you want the job, you have to sign. Some of the confidential information from a client that an NDA would cover are details of advertising or marketing campaigns, details of the company's new products, information about the company itself and the people involved in the project, any designs that they might send to you, any details about their customers. And most of them will list a few things in the NDA, but also say any other confidential information in any media used by or property of the client, meaning pretty much everything. If you sign an NDA, you simply shouldn't share any details of the project with anybody. There will be some parts of the project that aren't confidential probably, but who's to say where the line is? It's easier to keep quiet. Signing an NDA also means you shouldn't share any details of the eventual contract you might sign with the client. If you get a terrible, unfair contract from them and you've signed an NDA, you can't really tell anybody about it. It goes the same for fees too. You wouldn't necessarily talk about your fees with other people but if a company pays really badly and you go and scorch them publicly online once you signed an NDA you could get in trouble for that once the illustration is released by the client for their campaign or whatever you can then share that because it is in the public domain but you still can't share details of the project that aren't released to the public some parts have to stay between you and the client and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that the clients are well within their rights to want to keep their operations private as are you and a lot of NDAs will be mutual, so the client won't disclose anything about you either. If you fuck up a job with someone, the last thing you want is them telling their contacts. There are some exceptions uh, that aren't always specifically listed, but are reasonable, like you can share things with your agent or maybe an advisor at the Association of Illustrators if you have one. In an NDA, you'll have some obligations, like agreeing not to use any of the company's confidential information for your own purposes outside of your project with them. So don't use any of the company's information for your own gain outside of the project. Also, if there's a breach of confidential information, for whatever reason, accidental or not, you have to tell the client immediately. As this is a legal document, you are agreeing to take on any legal ramifications that may arise from you breaching it. Imagine you're working for an advertising agency and that advertising agency is working for a car manufacturer and together you're advertising a brand new unreleased model. If you share that work on your blog before the launch of the new car, you will cause a lot of problems for a lot of people. The car company will be furious with the ad agency, but it's not really the ad agency's fault, it's yours. You have to assume responsibility. That may mean financial reparations. Some NDAs actually list an amount on them that you'll have to pay if you breach the terms. So it's better just to follow the rules, use your common sense. There's usually a rights or ownership section in an NDA, which can be a bit confusing depending on how it's written. The rights section here doesn't usually refer to your work. It will usually be there to say that the company is not transferring any rights in their confidential information to you. The company wants it to be clear that they still own everything that they have sent to you. In a mutual NDA, it might be more general to say that the document doesn't transfer any rights either way by signing. You are not giving away your rights and they are not giving away theirs. That's fine. Occasionally you'll see an NDA that has a work for hire deal right there in the agreement. So if you want to know what the job is about, you have to sign away your rights before even knowing what the project is. That's completely unreasonable and you should always ask to remove wording like that. The purpose of an NDA is not to transfer any rights to your future work. It's in the name, it's a non-disclosure agreement. Any kind of rights agreement should be handled separately. And most of the time you can explain that you would like to know more about the project, but won't agree to give away your rights blindly before you know what the project is. And most of the time, a 
client can see that that's a reasonable request. After signing an NDA and learning about the project, you might end up signing away your rights anyway, but you want to know what you're agreeing to before you agree to it. If you think contracts all look different, well, NDAs are all over the place. They are all so different. Some are long, some are short, some are written in plain, understandable English, some aren't. But most will have a structure, including some of these things. Details of the parties entering into the agreement. That's uh, a company name, an address, maybe some tax details. That's the disclosing party because they are disclosing the confidential information to you. Your name, your address, other business details, etc. You're the receiving party. You'll have a definition of what is considered confidential information. You'll have your obligations. There will be a term of the agreement that might be five years, two years, whatever. There's also usually something called uh, return of confidential information. So if the client asks you to return any items of theirs or to delete their information, you're agreeing to do that. Maybe the part about the assignment of rights too, and then some boilerplate contract stuff. They're nothing to worry about 90% of the time. Keep your eye out for any rights grabs, but they're not very common. You won't always be asked to sign an NDA, but as a general rule of thumb, you should keep your projects private until the client launches the work or tells you it's fine to share it. Even with a magazine where you don't typically sign an NDA, you shouldn't share the illustration before the magazine is out. Hope this clears up any worries you may have. Feel free to disclose this information to whoever you like.